Number 10. Snake on a Plane An AirAsia passenger plane was forced to make an unscheduled landing in early 2022. Why? A slithering, slimy, no-good snake was moving through the overhead lights. It could be seen by the passengers as its silhouette shone through the cabin's light casings, like some terrible evil shadow making its way towards the cockpit. Luckily, these kinds of incidents don't happen very often. Somehow, the snake got on board the flight before they left the capital, Kuala Lumpur, en route to Tawau on Borneo Island. As soon as the captain realized the snake was bothering the passengers and slithering through the lights, he took the appropriate actions. He landed 560 miles, 901 kilometers short of the destination, so that the plane could be fumigated. Why would you fumigate an airplane? Well, no one knew what kind of snake it was. All they could see was the black outline of its body as it moved along. This is Malaysia we're talking about, where there are multiple species of extremely venomous serpents. This was a major risk to the people on board, even though the AirAsia Chief Safety Officer, Liang Tian Ling, said at no time was the crew at risk. The truth is that if that snake had proved to be venomous and it fell onto somebody's lap, things could have turned out very differently. Number 9. The Stowaway Pigeon On February 28, 2020, a far less threatening animal terrorized a Go Air flight in India. This time, the flight was interrupted by a pigeon. Passengers who boarded the flight at the Ahmedabad International Airport never imagined that as they were prepping for the short trip to Jaipur, a pigeon would appear out of nowhere and start flapping through the cabin. This time, the plane didn't actually get airborne. It was just as the plane was about to depart at roughly 5 p.m. that the bird exploded out of an overhead locker and started shedding feathers all over the place. The shocked airline staff tried to salvage the situation and help the poor animal, but it kept bonking people in the head and squirming out of their grip. It was complete and total chaos. But by far the strangest part is that the pigeon managed to get into one of the overhead compartments in the first place. We don't know how the pigeon got onto the plane, but we know the flight was forced to redock. Everyone was terrified that they were going to get poop on them, and then a door was opened and the pigeon was allowed to fly back outside. Nobody got hurt, not even a pigeon. Number 8. A bat in the cabin. An Air India flight was forced to turn back when a bat was unleashed inside the cabin. Passengers were in disbelief when a little bat started flapping through the corridors of the Boeing 737, like a tiny, diseased bomb shedding its hair and feces everywhere. It was utterly disgusting, and the plane made a full 360 because of it. The flight originally took off from New Delhi in May of 2021 on its way to Newark in the United States. Nobody knows where the bat came from, but it was too fast and too disgusting for anybody to catch. By the time the plane identified the problem, contacted air traffic control and got back to the international airport in Delhi, it was nearly 4 o'clock in the morning. Passengers disembarked and were put on a different flight, while wildlife officials entered the plane to take care of the bat situation. Sadly for the fuzzy, disease-ridden flying rodent, it had died some time during the confusion. Wildlife officials found the bat deceased in business class, lying unmoving near seat number 8. Number 7. The Stowaway Cat A pilot in French Guiana got the surprise of a lifetime in summer 2015 when he found a cat on the wing of his airplane. The pilot was already airborne when he realized there was a cat gripping the wing with its claws. The frightened animal was stranded and scared for its life. When you hear the expression, hanging on for dear life, this poor cat holding desperately to the wing of the plane should be the first thing that comes to mind. Luckily, this was not a commercial airplane. It was an open-air Sky Ranger plane, which kind of looks like a really primitive helicopter. Romain Janteau, the man behind the controls, was studying to become a professional helicopter pilot at the time of the incident. He practiced his flying skills at the 1634 ULM club. The cat that snuck onto his wing happened to be the mascot out of the club, though nobody has ever given her a proper name. 
they simply call the cat Minou, which is the French word for kitty. Now, you probably want to know what happened to the cat. She wasn't actually in any immediate danger because the airplane wasn't high enough for her to freeze. The biggest thing worrying the pilot was that the cat might jump. If the cat jumped, she would certainly not land on her four legs after plummeting hundreds of feet to the ground. So Romain eased off the throttle and began his descent. He made as gentle of a landing as he possibly could, then helped the cat get back on solid ground. About five minutes later, the cat had her nose stuffed in a bowl of food, seemingly already forgetting her insane ride through the clouds. Number 6. Delayed by a mouse A Qatar Airways flight was delayed for six hours by a creature you would never expect to see on an aircraft. A single mouse was spotted by passengers scurrying through the cabin. It caused enough of a panic that everyone who had gotten on the plane was kicked off and they had to sit in the lobby for another six hours. It happened at the Adolfo Suarez Barajas Airport in Madrid back in December of 2014. The flight was bound for Doha in Qatar. The delay of six hours meant a lot of people missed their connections, delaying important vacations to places like Thailand and Bali. Nonetheless, they couldn't exactly be flying through the sky with rampaging mice on board. The plane had to be fumigated, and then it had to be aired out for the noxious fumes to dissipate. Their airline couldn't exactly let a bunch of people sit inside of a plane that was filled with toxic fumes. It would be like if they were seated in a metal can filled with poisonous gas. No vacation is worth that amount of trouble. When the fumes were gone and the flight could finally take off again, the mouse was discovered dead inside the cabin. There was only one, and it was extremely small, but the crew could not have taken the risk of flying with the mouse on board. Even just one mouse can cause significant damage to an airplane. It could have chewed through wires, ruined the electric work, and made a nest somewhere in the plane's underbelly. It could have even found its way into the luggage compartment, where it might have pooped in someone's suitcase. Number 5. The Tarantula Passengers on board a flight operated by Volaris, a budget airline in Mexico, were greeted by a giant and terrifying tarantula. The flight was traveling between Mexico and Brazil and had managed to pick up a stowaway monster. It almost definitely came from Brazil, but nobody knows for sure. The tarantula was so big, it should have needed to pay for a seat to be on the flight. As you may already know, tarantulas are not actually dangerous. They are huge, frightening to look at, and they can bite. But there is no tarantula in the world that can kill a person. They just don't have venom. It would certainly sting if one were to bite you, but you'd get over it eventually. In this case, though, nobody had the misfortune of being bitten by the spider. It was captured by someone on the plane who stuck it in a plastic bag to be disposed of. Number 4. Snake on a plane, again. In January of 2013, passengers aboard a Qantas jet flying over Australia saw something that shocked them to their cores. It was about 20 minutes into the flight, which was headed from the city of Cairns to Papua New Guinea, when the discovery was made. A passenger saw something slithery on the wing and pointed it out to the staff. It looked like a snake, and yet they were thousands of feet above the ground. After a few people had gathered around the window to gawk at the curious stowaway, everyone agreed it was definitely a serpent, and a big serpent at that. The snake was at least 12 feet, 3.6 meters long, what looked to be a scrub python native to the hostile desert regions of northern Australia. By the time the passengers saw the reptile, they were already at an altitude of 30,000 feet, 9,144 meters. The poor snake was freezing to death, and so it curled itself into the tightest nook of the wing as it could find. It then spent the rest of the flight in bitter cold conditions, but still hanging on for dear life. The temperature on the wing is somewhere around 10 degrees Fahrenheit, with the winds blowing up to 300 miles per hour, 483 kilometers per hour. As for how the snake could have gotten into such a precarious situation, it had likely been a stowaway in the landing gear. It probably crawled in there to keep itself warm. Then when the plane took off, it found itself in a rather unfortunate situation. The snake did make it all the way to Papua New Guinea, but it was in rough shape. 
passengers noticed bloodstains on the wing and that the snake had clearly been injured. It slithered away before anyone could reach it and vanished. Number 3. Angry Cat In February of 2021, an angry cat attacked a pilot. It isn't something that happens very often. In fact, this may be the only time a cat has ever attacked a pilot in the middle of a flight. The feline had somehow made it into the cockpit of the plane, which was on its way from Khartoum in Sudan to Doha in Qatar. Faced with strange people, a whole lot of noise and an unfamiliar setting, the cat went on the offensive. It lashed out at the pilot who tried to catch the feline, inciting instant chaos. The pilot was attacked and then the cat tried to run away. It was reported as being feral, angry and very aggressive. The pilot didn't know what to do, so he turned the plane around. The cat was eventually captured and removed, but not before ruining everybody's travel plans. It's believed the furry stowaway either snuck onto the plane while airline workers were cleaning it overnight or somehow during the pre-flight engineer check. Number 2. Chihuahua in the Luggage When a couple in Texas were on their way to Las Vegas for a brief vacation in late 2021, they found something unexpected hiding in their luggage. It was as they were boarding their flight to Sin City that they found the intruder. Their luggage was overweight, which seemed a little odd to them. When they opened their bag to take a look, they discovered a chihuahua stashed among their clothes. The bag was 5 pounds, 2.1 kilograms overweight, roughly the same size as their pet chihuahua. Don't worry, this was the couple's pet. It wasn't some random chihuahua that had managed to get inside their suitcase. Instead, Jared Owens admitted to local news that their dog, Icky, has a bit of an issue with burrowing. He loves digging in stuff and had apparently managed to dig himself all the way to the bottom of their suitcase without anyone realizing. When a couple opened the suitcase at baggage check, the dog was stuck inside one of Jared's boots. Luckily for the couple, the airline employee that they were dealing with, a woman named Kathy, agreed to take the dog and hold on to it while they were on their vacation. Otherwise, they could have missed their flight trying to work out arrangements for the poor pup. It's also an extremely good thing they had packed so heavily. If they hadn't opened up their suitcase to see what had them over the weight limit, that poor dog probably would have arrived in Vegas without a heartbeat. Number 1. Yet another snake on a plane a commercial flight in Mexico erupted in panic when a snake slithered out of the ceiling. The terrifying incident happened in November of 2016, forcing the plane to make an emergency landing. The serpent first slithered out of a crack in the ceiling, right near the overhead luggage compartment, and then just kind of dangled in the cabin. Considering most people on board weren't exactly reptile specialists, nobody knew if the snake was dangerous or not. All they knew was that a potentially deadly reptile was loose in the plane. And if there was one snake in the plane, who said there couldn't be more? You have to admit, this would be pretty frightening. The Aeromexico flight made an emergency landing at the nearest airport, while one of the men on board used a blanket to catch the snake and keep it from biting anyone. When they landed in Mexico City, animal control arrived to take care of the beast. But sadly, they never did say what kind of snake it was. Thanks for watching. Would you rather have a snake on your airplane or a giant tarantula? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.